here with Diamond River Outfitters on the on the vault. Um, they've got a, an awesome little camp set up here on the on the banks of the the Vol River, within a, a private reserve. Um, Rob Jeffries, uh, he runs this operation. He set it up a few years back. Every day we'll be splitting up. We've got the three guides. Uh, Eddie will generally be on a drift, so we'll split up. Two guys will go out on the, on the drift, and potentially another with Rulof. If you want to drift all the way down, we can do that. And then the rest will be going into the pools and onto the rapids down at the bottom. Um, it's quite a nice, um, a nice destination. Um, that's not too too far away. Um, in our trip this week, we've got uh, myself and Sean Dixon, our brand ambassador. A long day, up on the road since 3 o'clock, so it's nice to be at the water's edge, just have a little, quick little dabble there, eh? and break the ice, maybe get a couple of smallies, and focus tomorrow on some largies maybe, eh? but the water's looking good, bit of a wind, but good to be out the car, eh? sure. Arrived after a long drive, heading out at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Getting here just after about 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock down under the water. And Rob's taken us down to a nice stretch of the wall here, where we're fishing dry dropper. So, the outfit I'm putting up here is the, the new Explorer Tech Series 10 foot 5. We're fishing a hopper with a small hotspot and just drifting it down in front here into the rapids and they coming up to the dry smashing that, taking the hot spot. Um, so just being able to see, watch that slight hesitation on the hopper and sometimes they're hooking themselves. So it's just watching go from there and, and Rob's just putting us right in his, his favorite pool, it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all my favorite pool from here all the way up. 40 k's up, right? <laughs> Waiting for me. Oh, I just did you see it? It went dunk, it like popped down. Too much lag. There it is. I think so. up quite nicely missing quite a few because they seem to be just grabbing it and running or just missing it but we sent a long cast across the, the middle here we picked up a nice one on the hopper we had a nice fight came up to that hopper
told you die. So we're gonna hopefully try to get the pontoon boats in the water. I think that's gonna be quite quite different, you know. Should be able to hold on spots better, maybe not have to drop anchor all the time, you know, use the use the boat like we do for trout and see how that works. I'm sure it will work out well hopefully. But yeah, weather's looking good, eh? looking a bit proper prefrontal yesterday but it's cleared up now so it's I hope it pushes it gives us a gap. So well not that far. Well oh, they have the special motor boat and drag is that rain or is it like Yeah it's not rain. It is rain. Right. It's gonna be yeah. a depressing part. Glad I bought my raincoat and left it at the camp. <laughs> Oh, that was the lightning. Baba. I'm not touching the rods. Yeah. Um, okay, so set up here. Oh. Beauty. Beauty. So set up here and then what you guys are going to do is bomb straight up. Yeah. Over that rapid, you've got to, got to do a little bit of portage. It's about this deep. Yeah. Drag them up into the next pool above. And as you get into that pool, it like makes a big bay on the... Setting up a floater rigged up here. Eight and a seven. The floater and I'm like a multi density. Eh? Yeah, goes well, eh? Cover some ground, get up to this uh, spot up ahead, eh? Sure, we've been, we just run up a couple of pools on the motors. Um, yeah, we're gonna start head back down to where we put in. Hopefully, spend a couple of hours. There's a lot of structure on the sort of left-hand side going downstream. A lot of fallen trees and stuff. So, looks like a nice little gutter that runs down that edge. Just gonna put a floating line on. It doesn't look too deep here. Um, and just try and hit the structure down on the left. Uh, sort of slap and slap and strip and see what uh, if there's any anyone home. So. John's got it. Eh?
good for a tough afternoon, some big lightning heading towards us, so I think we'll just Ooh, right up to the, the cart. Here it comes. Well, maybe just sit it out for a bit, eh? Give it a, give it a chance. Mm. I reckon something bigger, bro. Yeah? yeah? I just want to get a tag, bro. Everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that time, that'll be cool as well. That's like that. Into the fishing trip. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that. <laughs> and then? Well, that was exciting. <laughs> and then, yeah. wapa! Game over. Just that rod popped, eh? Quick little early morning while the guys are still sleeping. The wind's pumping this morning, but at least we're not getting beaten by the lightning and rain from yesterday. It was tough. We got some, John got some fish in the morning, which was which was always good. At least one of the crew pulled us through. But yeah, afternoon the yes, we got some some big weather that that came in. Good lightning storm in the afternoon, so we called it called it a day. But uh, yeah, having a Fresh start here this morning. Eddie's gonna volunteer to wake us, wake up with us uh, early before the guys are up and about in the camp. So that's awesome. We're gonna go and just head down from the camp. Just a short distance. There's one or two decent spots. So yeah, let's go and uh, see if we can get one before breakfast. Would be awesome to start the day like that. Eh? What do you think, Ed? I think the wind is pumping. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a quick little shot before breakfast there.
Ricky. <risa> y come. ¡Bum! Yeah, I got him like that, eh? Take care. Wow, that thing not coming off, bro. They hook out of this bad way. We had a long drift down. Got, caught uh, one or two squirrels on the way down. This wind. But uh, yeah, I've just come onto this sort of tight out of this pool. And uh, like obviously a gradual climb onto these, onto this old stone wall, which is a fantastic structure. So managed to pop one in and yeah, as soon as they hit the water, straight on there. So, a small fish, but beautiful little fish, eh? There's a little pre-breakfast largey. Nothing wrong with that, eh? Back for breakfast, go join the boys. Got that uh, one largey, which is cool. Uh, that was that was the plan, eh? Go out before the guys are while well, they're still rolling around in their juvets and come back with the story. So that yeah, was fun, eh? and we just saw a nice little spot, sort of a bit more sheltered. So uh, probably bring the kick boats down, tow them down, and portage them into that uh, backwater, and uh, probably spend a bit of the day. In that backwater, there's some awesome looking reed beds and structure down there. So, yeah, well, I think that's the plan, eh? Try and get out of this window because it's really picking up now. Eh? Yeah, so, we're up here on the uh, Vol River with Diamond River Outfitters. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so we are we're here in the Northern Cape. Um, we're about uh, 150 k's from Blumhof, uh, also a good 100 k's from the the Vol, Vol Orange confluence. So like a big uh, big private reserve um, on around 32 k's of the of the lower Vol. And we've got some beautiful water here. Um, we're fishing only a really a, around 10 k's of the of the really productive water. Um, so there's still quite a bit of exploration that we're going to do around here, but. Um, we're based, uh, we're a land-based operation. Uh, we, we fixed camp that we come back to every night and every, every day for lunch and dinner we're back in camp. Um, it's got beautiful under the, under the Korea bush in the, on the river bank here in the riverine, riverine bush. Um, we've got a jetty down here where we, where we launch our boats from when we do the drift. So uh, we've got a, quite a good mix of water. Uh, uh, we, we try to get guys into, into various facets of fishing. So we'll do a lot of, uh, a lot of the big water drifting, fishing structure onto the banks. Uh, and then we can mix this up and go into the, the, your more uh, typical smally type fishing. So I just rambled, I just went down the hole. been a tough, I don't know, maybe two hours. Awesome looking water, but just, I think it's the weather or something's just put them down. Fish some beautiful structure in the pool above us and this one behind me. And um, yeah, just nothing, eh? It's been a tough little morning, but yeah, we're just gonna nymph this little, in, this little feeder here. And um, yeah, just change it up, have some fun, and then try and get back on the largies, eh?
relax time. Now in a small blow. So it's been a tough little uh, morning after the one we got, uh, the pre-breakfast uh, largey we got. Uh, there were two nice holes and came back down where we saw the, where we got that largey this morning. And um, kind of just been fighting the wind. It's, it's really pumping down this channel, but. Awesome, yeah. of the end of a trip firstly packing up has got to be the worst eh? especially when the weather looks like this after what we've had for the last sort of three days it's been uh, it's been a tough trip um, yeah, the weather's been pretty rough to say the, to say the least eh? but um, and we thought it might calm down as the day would go on but unfortunately it didn't happen um, there was some big thunderstorms that came through in the afternoon, kind of pushing us off the water. Um, by about you know, 4.30, 5 o'clock, the lightning was around, and that kind of repeated itself for the next two days. Um, on the Friday, we did a, a drift, and it was just winding the whole time. And uh, once again, couldn't get back on the water after 4 o'clock, the th big thunderstorm came through. And that was kind of the summary of our whole weekend. We really, we fished in wind during the day and got chased off the water by these massive dark clouds um, swirling around and lightning striking all around. Not ideal, um, but yeah, we did the best we could and uh, made a trip from there. Yeah, pack up time, mud everywhere, and uh, yeah, time to get on the road and head back home. Eh? Plan the next trip, I think. <laughs> 